right. I wish I could this moment open, you know. I tell me, I want to and come on and come on, 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 Tiago Akantara, I was young, young co, young full interview. No, said you, Mohammed Kudis, is if I answer and answer, can answer, let's show what you know, say, we will be we are Madrid fans, no, we will be free, papa, papa, and I will say, I had Cristiano Ronaldo fans, no, when you see any interview, we are young, young co, young co, Mohammed Kudis. Find out first and foremost, which team did Mohammed Kudis support when you were growing up? I was supporting the team in Ghana called Haas. Who was playing on that team? Why were we supporting them? Was it the local team? Yeah, it's, it's in the Ghana League. Yeah? You, yeah. You were able to go to the games and stuff? What was the atmosphere like there? It was crazy, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's in the city I grew up, you know, it's in Accra, the capital, so yeah. What about in Europe? Did you watch any European teams play as well? Was there any sort of European sides you were watching thinking they play nice football? I like Yeah, Barcelona. Yeah. Barca. What was it about Barcelona? Messi. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, the easiest one, you know. Next up. How did Mo Kudus get scouted when he was young? We played school sports. Yeah. And then my local um, coach was, was there and then he just scouted me and I just started playing. That's when he became serious. From, How from, old were you there? Oh, like 10. 10 years old? Yeah. Were you miles better than everybody else on the pitch at 10 years old, Mo? Be honest. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> there were some good players too, you know, but yeah. I don't know what he saw in me at that time, but yeah, he. he he scouted me and then I joined his team and everything started to become serious from there. Yeah, and then right to dream as well, it, it played a part? Yeah, but I played my local team, Strong Tower. Yeah. Yeah, from there then I went to the academy and yeah, but I started being serious in, in Strong Tower in my because that's one of the um, biggest team in my local team. So when I got scouted, it was a big team that time, you know. <laughs> yeah, family yeah. very proud of you at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. Next up, who is Mo Kudus' footballing idol? I liked um, Thiago a lot. Yeah. Thiago Alcantara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the shirt on your Instagram, all the signatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah. moment for you. I don't know. I just, you know, I love players that play with creativity and try to entertain the fans, you know. And you can see that from how I try to play also, you know. So that's just why I love him, you know. Yeah, he was just too smooth for me. How did you get that shirt? Because I've seen your Instagram, all the signatures, Thiago. How did, how did you get that? What happened there? Yeah, so when he was in Bayern, okay. um, there was a friend that knew him and so he just yeah, talked to him and then he, he got me the shirt. And, did yeah. you ask him? Did you say, come on, I need this shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, they sorted it out and then they sent it over to me. I was, I was so happy, man. Have you got it framed on your wall? Yeah, at home? yeah, yeah, at home it's, it's framed. Prize possession, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Next up, if Mo Kudus wasn't a footballer, what would he be? <laughs> I don't know what course I would have done, but I think I would have furthered my schooling education, you know. Yeah. yeah but I don't know what, which direction of course or something I would do, but I, I knew it would have been in, in school direction, you know. Yeah. yeah. Were you good in school? Were you good grades? Yeah, I was good until I started taking football serious okay. and the focus just, you know. <laughs> focus went grades yeah, down the hill, yeah. football boots on. Exactly. What were your favourite subjects when you were at school? Um, I liked science. Yeah? Yeah. So we could have had Dr. Kudus. You never know. Yeah. Dr. Kudus. <laughs> Giving all the injections. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you never know. What hobbies does Mohammed Kudus have? I like playing games, watching yeah. movies. Yeah. What's your favourite movie? What you've seen recently that you like? Not recently, but my favourite one all time is Wakanda. Yeah? Yeah, the Black Panther. Black Panther? Like, yeah. Why, why do you like that so much? Are you into your Marvel or is it just specifically Black Panther you like? Yeah, Black Panther specifically, you know. Yeah, it was just, yeah, it's just my favourite movie, you know. Yeah. What about video games? What video games do you play? Call of Duty, FIFA, with friends online. Yeah? Yeah. What, are you Ultimate Team? Playing a lot of Ultimate Team or clubs or what? Yeah, clubs, league. With Club. friends online also against each other. <laughs> I use West Ham to play, so yeah. we are first on the league now. <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah. Flying. Next up, who is Mohamed Kudus' favourite musical artist? I have quite few, but I'll go for Stoneboy, like you all know, you know. Yeah? Yeah. W why? Um, Just love this music from growing up from Ghana, you know. Yeah. And 
when I got the opportunity to meet him in person, it even grew the, the love of the music because yeah, he was a lovely person, even more in person. So the connection with love and his music even grew even more. So yeah. Do you ever manage to get him on in the dressing room or you're not allowed to touch the table yet? You banned from Oh, some of them play his songs in the dressing room after after he's been here, so <laughs> so <laughs> it's good. Yeah? It's yeah. good music, you like it. Yeah. Is there any bad musical taste in the dressing room? Any of your teammates that you think have got a bad music taste, you wouldn't listen to their music? Um not not everyone gets to connect it, but so far those who who, who, who control the music has been, you know, good. calm, yeah. Setting up the tone for the games. <laughs> okay. Who does Mama Kudas think is the greatest African player ever? I would say Okocha. JJ? Yeah. Really? Why? Because you like that flair? You of? know, exactly. From explaining on how, um, in my lens, how I see creative players and trying to entertain the game, you know, that can never be, be, be washed away, you know, like, the fans can never forget the experience and your entertainment you give them on the pitch, you know. I know now goals and assists are important and stuff like that, but I like I like creative players and players that like to entertain the fans, you know. Try to do something different than what everyone is doing than just passing the ball, you know. Yeah. yeah. Something you model your game on a little bit, a bit more creativity, a bit yeah. more flair rather than just... Exactly, 100%. Yeah. Love it. What is Mo Kudus' favourite position? We know you play a lot of different roles. Yeah. We've seen you play midfield, we've seen you play up front. What's your favourite? I'm like a number 10, attacking midfielder. Yeah. That's that's where I've played um, all my, my years um, playing since I was a kid growing up, you know. It's just recently I started playing other positions also, like on the wings, maybe in striker sometimes when yeah. I was in Ajax, you know. Yeah. But I've always been a, been a midfielder. What about growing up? Was there any different positions you played? I read maybe you played at left back at times as well? <laughs> yeah, growing up when I was playing, it wasn't really so much at stake, so it was more for fun, so I was just running everywhere, you know. <laughs> you could play wherever you wanted, because yeah. you didn't, didn't tell you off? Nah, 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 it was like a free roll, just get the ball and do whatever you want. <laughs> was it because you were better than everybody else, you had to oh. just pick the ball out? <laughs> dribble, dribble, dribble and score. Oh. <laughs> uh, next up, who is the best player Mo Kudus has ever played with? Um, you, you don't know him yet, but you know him soon. He's called <laughs> Emmanuel Danso. Okay. Um, I played with him way back from, from, from Ghana in the academy when I was growing up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's one of the best players I've, I've played. I've played with quite a lot of players, you know, there's a lot you know from, from here, from Ajax and stuff like that, but he's the one, yeah, I feel, yeah. Is he young? Yeah, he's like my age. Okay. Yeah. And where's he playing at the moment? Um, he's in Strongo set now in, in, in Norway. And just technically good? Yeah. What is it about his game that you like he's, so he's much? A, he's a defensive midfielder, like number six. Oh. Yeah, he's both feet passing and, you know, pfft. I've always loved, yeah. yeah maybe, you need to you recommend know. him to West Ham though. Right, safe. right, right. She's she's hearing it, so. Get the scouts on the phone, get the scouts get, on the get phone. Get the so. conversation outside. <laughs> get the conversation outside, get into West Ham. You could use him in the midfield. He might might be amazing. Yeah. Okay. What about the best player you've played against? Right. Is there anybody who's going to be a really tough yeah, game? Yeah, Thiago, I would say. Thiago? Yeah, in the Champions League when I actually played with Liverpool against him. But I wasn't surprised because... <laughs> He's your favourite player? Yeah, so I wasn't surprised by what I saw, but it was... To even be close, that close to him, it was, it was too smooth, man, yeah. What, is it just the way he moves on the ball, his body Yeah, shows? you know, you can never get close, you know. Yeah, it was just... He dictated the, the whole game in Anfield, you know. OK, we go Thiago. Final question then. What is Mo Kudus' favourite thing about living in London? I think the weather is not so bad here, even though it's still cold. The weather? You're actually yeah. going to say the weather, man? Surely not. Yeah, it's terrible here. Yeah, but the comparison I want to make from, from Amsterdam, <laughs> it rains a lot, man. But here it's cold, but it doesn't it doesn't rain that that much wow. compared to Amsterdam. So it's still cold for me, but because <laughs> from Ghana, it's 30 degrees every day. So it's still cold for me, but coming from Amsterdam, yeah, I'll take it because it doesn't rain that, that much, even though it's cold. Yeah, I, I prefer it's cold and it's okay than raining every two, two minutes or something. I'm, I'm, I'm very shocked at that. Have you been yeah. to any of the tourist attractions yet? You managed to get around London and like see the London Eye or the big um, thing? Nah, not yet. I just went to the Ghanaian restaurant, Kate. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I haven't seen so much here. It's tight schedule here. So tight many schedule, schedule, lots yeah. of football. I wanted to ask you as well, since you've come to England, what have you made of the English food? You like English food? Because you spoke yeah, about yeah. Ghanaian food and stuff, but... Yeah, I, I like the English food. You know. I think it's... It's not too different, you know? Yeah. yeah we, 
normal stuff I eat, but yeah. Have you tried fish and chips yet? No. Well, look, I've got to get you some fish and chips, mate. <laughs> Try Sunday roast yet? No, what is no. that? No. It's like traditional Sunday English food, potatoes, chicken or beef, um, cauliflower. Ooh. You like yeah, it? Yeah, we eat potato and beef and, That's you know, but, same, but yeah, exactly. 